Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is this model inspired makeup look and hair tutorial. So I wanted to do a Christmas day glam that was really, really simple, but really, really effective. I wanted to show you a really easy hairdo if you are the type of person who leaves your wrap until last minute and you haven't managed to wash your hair on Christmas Eve and you're getting to that point where you're thinking, oh my God, I've got the dinner to do, I've got this to do. I've got to have my hair nice, but you've got to have it up because the house is so warm. Like everyone forgets how stressful Christmas day can actually be. So I've got to do, I've gone and done a look for you that's really really easy you can throw on do the hair and still look like a supermodel so i hope you like this video please don't forget to comment like subscribe i would really appreciate it but let's just get straight into the video on the makeup application off properly we're going to do tons of skincare make sure your skincare is on and then leave it to soak for about five to ten minutes before you apply your makeup honestly it will make a massive difference in how your makeup sits and stays on your face then i went in with the l'oreal lumi lotion you can use any luminous primer you choose if you have a more oily skin type you can obviously skip this step high glass from nyx is another great option then i went in with my foundation obviously had a sip of coffee as well because wow i'd been up 20 minutes before i started filming i got up jumped in the shower when I made a cup of coffee and started filming. So yeah, I needed that that sip of coffee. But I'm going in with the YSL Touche Clat Foundation. This is the glowy one. I actually used to use Touche Clat 15 years ago when I was in college. Um, I, Well, it would be 14, 14 years, should I say. And um, I used to use it all the time, but it used to come in like a white tube and like a brush. And I sort of went off because it used to oxidize a lot. Now I'm going to be brutally honest, this hasn't oxidized on me yet. And I feel as though it is a really, nice foundation it is a little bit too dark for my skin I did buy it for special occasions so maybe if I throw a little bit of tan on so it did go fine because I do have a little bit of tan on from last weekend so yeah up to now all good but I will do a full review on it so choose whichever foundation you wish to choose honestly it is completely down to you then I took an ice cold beauty blender. I always make sure my beauty blenders are ice cold, especially in the morning when I'm throwing the makeup on straight after waking up because it just awakens the skin. If you have the time to use maybe like a Cairo face mask or anything like that, then definitely do so. Christmas day is all about treating yourself. So make sure that you make that time. It'll just make you feel so much better. Then I took the Maybelline Eraser Eye. This is in the paler shade they do. It's zero, I think zero, zero. And I popped it under my eyes. I did use it on my jawline. This was just to make the foundation colour work better with my skin obviously it matched pretty well did match better when my false tan was fresh but I did want to make sure it just it worked better so I just used a lighter concealer just to make sure my jawline didn't look like it was a, a different colour to my neck and then I just blended that out I always leave my concealer under my eyes for the longest I feel as though it makes it stay much better it sets better it's just a preference of mine certain concealers you do not do this with because they are quick drying and they just set straight away but with the Maybelline Erase Right it's really you know it moves really easy and can be warmed into the skin really well so I always find leaving it for a little bit just makes that concealer work even more then when you've done that we're going to go and take our cream contour you need a look that's going to last for a long time on Christmas day if you have a house like mine that has loads of people in it we just need a makeup look that's going to last all day so I took my cream contour this is the Laritzi stick that I've been using for ages and I just carved out my massive forehead to make it look a little bit smaller and then I chiseled my cheekbones out a little bit more and then I pop it on the bridge of my nose which I've been doing for ages underneath the, the tip of my nose and then underneath my lips to be honest I don't think this makes a massive difference to my face shape but I do think it brings the bronzer together better without it just looking blank on on the front of my face I just feel as though it it brings the bronzer together it makes it more whole and perfect if that makes any sense then I took some on a small brush and I started to create a little socket shape so I done like a winged effect up to the brow and this is just to create a fake lift on the eye just to give that more snatched look to your features which is exactly what models do. I did want to keep this as like model-esque. It's more the hair that's model-like in this video, but I did want to try and do it with the makeup and I do feel doing that with the eyes does add something, just a little something to your features. Then I buffed out my concealer using my brush and then I moved on to start blending out everything else. So I took my beauty blender first just to go over the concealer area before going on to the eye socket area. I wanted to pat it out. I didn't want to use a brush or anything like that. I still wanted it to be quite dominant but not dominant where it needs blending. 
you get what I'm saying. And then what I did do was popped a tiny bit of concealer underneath the wing area just to give it that extra lift, just to give it that extra crispness, but still blend it out with the Beauty Blender so it merge as well with the other product. And then taking my Beauty UK brush, I just buff, buff, buffed all that concealer out and made sure I went from a moon face to a not so moon face. I don't actually have a moon face, but I do think with your contour, I feel as though you just create this... Like, you just feel like, yep, queen, you are ready to go. I always like to make sure that my contour is blended by looking at all different angles. I just feel as though you get a better finish with it. And I always go in with the brush I use for my foundation just underneath the contour just to make sure that it really is chiseled but is still blended it just sort of blazed the two products together then it's another sip of the coffee by the way i'm drinking my usual coffee but i've got the creamer from america which is the peppermint mocha liquid one. Oh, oh my god honestly it is the best thing on the planet like it is amazing and i absolutely love it anyway back on to the makeup I then did go back in with some elf concealer I just wanted to add that little bit more I wanted to warm up the under eye it was just a little bit too pale for me and then I set all that using my Maybelline fit me loose powder I need to get a hold of my Givenchy powder I'm losing the will to live I just noticed how much it makes a massive difference to my under eye and I cannot get a hold of it so in dire straits for my Givenchy powder then I took the pixie beauty stick this is the orange one I actually meant to put the pink one on but it was too late I'd already put it on and I was like oh this wasn't the one I meant anyway I took the orange one and I popped it on I worked up to the temple that's where I like to pop my uh, blush I also work it slightly up towards the brow as well it's just personal choice wherever you feel you want to have it then I went in with my physician's butter bronzer I went in with this after the pixie stick because you want to make sure that you've done all your cream products before you put all your powder products on so I then went in with the physician's butter bronzer over the areas that I contoured and then I went in with the benefit Georgia peach blush which has a like slight shimmer to it which is really nice you don't actually need to go and look highlight it I obviously did because I was going that little bit extra but I do really like the Georgia peach blush on top of the pixie glow stick then I went in with my Laura Mercier powder honestly if you haven't got the Laura Mercier glow powder and you are a dry skin type you need it it is the best thing in the world, I am dying to try the new ones that they brought out, but because this is a full tub, I'm a little bit reluctant, but I do think I might end up going to buy them anyway. It's just, you know, it's what you do. Then taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer again, you're going to go over the area that you've done the snatched eye on. You want to make sure that that's set. Don't just leave it as a cream product. Go in with your bronzer and just ensure you go over the area that you used your contour stick for to create that winged effect. Then I went in with some pixie highlighters. I went in with a more like pinky toned one today. It's just, just what I felt like. And I just popped up on the high points of my forehead, on the high points of my cheeks, any area that I felt needed it. Then I went in with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This is actually the waterproof one. This is the first time I've ever used it. Brand new, as you can tell, it goes absolutely everywhere on me when it's a brand new mascara. But my God, this is definitely waterproof. I could not get it off. Then I went in with this lip liner from MUA Cosmetics. This is in shade Couture and then I go in with the Dr. Pawpaw lip balm in the tinted red version. This lip combo is like one of my go-to daily lip combos. It's so nice. It's so hydrating. And you know what? On Christmas Day, I love nothing more than wearing a red lipstick. But the minute I put the red lipstick on, I regret it because I'll do nothing more than eat and drink and have to top it up. Even the best lipsticks, the best Fenty red lipstick in the world does not last long on Christmas Day because I am constantly shoving food in my mouth. So yeah, I love a lip like this where I haven't got to do much. It's nice and hydrating. It just looks nice. It stays on the lips well. Yeah, definitely recommend something like this for Christmas Day. It's just easy, just an easy life. I slightly overline my Cupid's bow where the white line of your natural lip is and then I don't overline anywhere else. So I just popped up camera to do my eyebrows. They desperately need tinting, so I wasn't gonna painfully put you through the process of me brushing the hairs because the lighter they get, the more I have to sit and really concentrate. So yeah, this is the face up to now. I'm gonna show you how I do my hair. It's gonna be a really quick little video for you just to do a finished look. Now you could obviously advance this look. You can do this winged brown bit a little bit heavier. I just want it light because I'm going shopping today. 
But moving on to the hair, we want to make sure that you have a really high pony. So tip that head forward and brush, brush, brush. You want it at the crown of your head, literally at the top of your head. It looks so much better when this is an extremely high pony. It sits better and it just looks so much more high fashion. Once you have that pony in, make sure it is gelled, hair sprayed, or if you have natural grease because you haven't had time to wash your hair, even better. You are going to take a piece of your hair. I know I was faffing around. I couldn't decide which piece to use. And you're going to wrap it around the bobble. This is like one of the most easy, effective ways to make your hair go from zero to 100 in literally two seconds. Once you've wrapped it around, you're going to take a hairpin and you're going to, well, a Kirby grip as I call them, bobby pin, whatever you want to call them. You're going to stick it down the back of your hair. So you don't want to go across. You want to go through the bobble. So right down the back. I hope you can see what I'm doing and it's explained a little bit better on the video than me saying it because all you're going to do is secure it in that way. It never stays in if you go across. It always seems to unravel out of the clip. Once you've done that and you're happy with it, don't worry if you have a piece of hair sticking out like I did. It actually goes into the plait. You don't even see it. You're going to start plaiting your hair. A simple plait. I personally recommend putting your hair to the side. You will, I explain at the end of the video, but just put your hair to the side because that's where it's going to sit. You want to plait in the way you're going, in the direction you're going. That's like braiding, plaiting 101. If you start moving around the head, that's the direction in which the plait's going to go. So the same goes for this sort of style. I actually would have really pulled this apart a little bit sooner than I do on on this video. I don't know why it took me to get to that point before I start pulling it apart, but it's completely down to you. If you want to get all the way to the end of the plait and then start pulling the part, that's fine. But I would recommend going halfway, pulling some hair and then plaiting the rest and then pulling it completely. This bit is the faffiest bit of the whole hairstyle. You just want to try and make sure you pull enough hair out, but don't create any excess loose loops or pull any like layers out or anything. You will notice I have a little layer sticking out. I do hairspray that into place. But once you're happy with your plait, you've bobbled it, just keep pulling it apart until you're happy. Then what I did go in with is the Got To Be Glued Pumped Hairspray, not the actual glued yellow can. It's the blue can. I would normally use texture powder, but because I knew I wasn't washing my hair for a good few days after this, I couldn't be bothered. Once you're happy with your plait, you want to take some more Kirby Grips, and that's when you're going to start pinning this into place you don't want to leave this loose it gets pinned into place on the side of your head this gives it the lift at the top and it makes the lift stay there and it also just keeps it looking fierce all day like this gives me a very Beyonce Lady Gaga vibe because it's just really effective but really really fierce like honestly pin it in place when you're happy it's literally done and that's the finished look i love this style plait i think it's really effective if you want to add hair i'm going to actually leave a link down below of a girl's video that i found was really helpful if you want to add hair into your plait if you haven't got long enough hair but i just feel as though on christmas day this is like high fashion really easy like so 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 easy the the key really with this is to plait to the side if you plait back and bring it round it goes wrong i've done this look loads of times and i don't even know why i started plaiting backwards and then realized and i was like this isn't working and then when i put it to the side it worked you just have to pin it in place so i'm going to show you it from the back that's what it looks like from the back and honestly if you have blonde hair maybe some balayage or anything this will look absolutely stunning it'll look even nicer and it's a really good way if you are someone who's forgot to wash their hair at christmas and you're thinking oh my god it's christmas eve i've got to wash me i've got to do presents i've got to do this this is a grease proof look if you've the greasier the hair the better because you will get that sleeker pony less bumps you don't have to use much hairspray like it's so much better and yeah that's the finish look for my christmas model-esque vibes if you want to go a little bit heavier on that brown then definitely do so and yeah i hope you like this video i hope you all have an amazing christmas i'll be coming to you a little bit earlier next week with a new year's eve glam obviously gotta do your new year's eve glam we are going to be entering 2022 looking fabulous i hope you like this video i hope you all have an amazing christmas whatever you're doing whatever celebrations you have i hope they're all absolutely amazing and i'll see you next week bye